All right, so it's time to stop being lazy. I've been avoiding doing this all day because, you know, I get that standard stress that I talk about before making a YouTube video. Like, I have this weird white writer's block, like I'm just not going to be able to say anything. And the video is just going to turn out horrible. But, you know, the best way to do this is just to dive into it. But, you know, first thing, I have some bad news. I lost my blue beanie. I know it's a, it's a pretty big tragedy, but uh, I've had that since 2009. But, you know, I woke up in a bar and Mr. Blue Beanie just wasn't there. But thankfully I still have my wallet, so you know. Take the good with the bad, so I'm gonna be wearing uh I'm gonna be wearing a black one of my videos from now on. But um so I'm gonna continue on my series about um, about navy stories. I'm gonna make it a little bit more looser. I'll make this playlist a little bit looser. Instead of just stories about you know stuff like I did while working, I'll talk about stuff I did, you know, you know, Navy sailor related stuff that I did too. I tried to keep it from getting too dirty because, you know, I don't want to, I mean, I guess I could let it get dirty, but, you know, I have kind of a varied audience because I talk about military stuff and, uh, and mental health and, you know, Japan, so I'll allude to certain things that are too dirty. So, so this one is, um, as the story, uh, as the title tells you, it's about a toy pig. I was in uh, Sydney, Australia in uh, 2011. It was the second day that we went out because we got there the day before a duty day. We drank a little bit, then we went out again. And uh, and the area of uh, Sydney I was in, it's uh, it's called Kings Cross. It's kind of kind of a, a seedier bar district type of area. I'm not sure if there's any Australian viewers out there. I apologize that for you know calling your your area seedy, but fuck it. I mean, there's a lot of seedy areas in America too. But we were walking around drinking, you know, and uh, doing the standard thing, and. Uh, I got this weird idea. We walked by a, uh, like a dollar store, or it was like the equivalent of a dollar store, and I'm like, I'm gonna go in here and find the dumbest thing I could possibly find. And lo and behold, I found a toy pig that oinks, and it was like the funniest shit I had I, I had seen like that entire week. I still have it actually. I, I probably could find it if I looked for it, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm not gonna do that. But I mean, it pretty much made my day. So I bought it, and we walked around, and. Um, you know, did our thing, so we went to a strip club, and I'm gonna say this, uh, personally, I don't really like strip clubs. It's not really that, you know, I'm like, you know, a male feminist or anything. I mean, in different parts of the country, in different parts of the world, there's, you know, different ways of making money, and, you know, all, all professions are, are respectable as long as you, uh, you know, as long as they're honest. So, um, just wanna give that little disclaimer. But, uh, we're in the strip club, and this, uh, and I, I had this, uh, I had this little toy pig. I was, it was just sitting on the table for a while. I'm like, I gotta do something with this. So, uh, so I found this, um, this lady. Uh, she, um, she was a Filipina with the, with an Australian accent accent you know like the like the sexiest thing ever and uh and i and she walked by me and i just put it in her face and oinked and, uh, and squeeze i squeezed the body and it oinked and immediately she was just like attached to the hip to me like the entire night she um she started calling it wilbur i can't i can't really do an australian accent but she's like wilbur and then she was going up to my friend with it putting it on her head and saying uh is there a pig on my head and just uh it just pretty much just making my night and for some weird reason like i didn't pay any money but she ended up like staying with me the rest of the night and uh it was a really fun night i mean we uh she's actually really uh she was actually really nice to talk to and she uh actually wrote her email address on on the toy pig and uh, i emailed her like the next day but she never replied back to me <laughs> So it's it's kind of a tragic love story in a sense, because you know I was I was in love with her for like two days. You know that's that's how it goes in foreign countries. But you know I can't really remember much more from that night. That's that's what I remember. She was really sexy. She was a Filipina with an Australian accent, and I got her attention by using a toy pig. And what was actually significant about the night? It was actually my friend's uh, my friend's uh, birthday, and he was really shy. Like he had like no experience with women, and we were kind of trying to break him out of his shell. Um, in fact, that was actually kind of my goal for that entire underway because we went to, uh, we also went to Cebu, Philippines, which I, I'll talk about that later on too, but, uh, shit, I wish I could remember more from this story. I, I feel like I, like, fuck up my stories by not, you know, uh, not, not giving better details, but, you know, I think that's going to be it for now. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring this up again, you know, there's no, it's not like there's a limit to how many times I can make a video about a story, but, so, as always, if you like my video, subscribe, if you like my music, buy it, and if you hate me, tell everybody, out.
Bonizza. Pizza Bonizza. Pizza Bonizza.